Hi everyone, welcome to Almighty Tricks. So there is a question from lead code. It is saying find 5 hertz index. So what is 5 hertz index? Uh, so we need to check one index. Let's say I am taking this index. So it is an input nums, uh, which is an array. So let's say I am taking this uh, index. Let's say six I am taking. Okay. So if if this left side elements if we add this left side element and if we add with right side element so if the sum is same then this is called a pivot element so what i mean so i take the six element so one plus seven plus three the count is 11 right the value is 11. similarly in the right side six plus five is 11. so both the side sum are same so this index is this six is uh, is a pivot element. So we need to return the index of this six. So index is three, okay. And if we are not getting any pivot index, then we need to return minus one, okay. And here it is saying uh, the constants are like ten to the four. The area of size of the array will be ten to the four, and value can be. Or minus 1000 to plus 1000 okay in some coding platform you can find this question in different way so like equilibrium index of an array or something else but the concept will be same okay so let's get started how we can solve this one okay so uh, the input will be one seven three six five six which is an array so we need to find the index which are equilibrium okay or pivot index the pivot index are like uh, the left sum left element sum left element sum equals to a right element sum okay so from here from here what i can see uh let's one seven three six five and six okay the indexes are like zero one two three four five okay so here if you see let's say i am taking this um, first index so first index will not work because here we can see there are no elements but here we can see there are lots of elements if we sum this thing then it will the sum will be different okay say i am taking now uh, say i am taking seven okay i am taking seven so if i see left side element is the sum is one but right side element sum is different so it is not a pivot element okay now let's say uh, i'll take three i'll take three so left side element seven plus one which is 8 but here I can see 12 plus 5 17 so it is not a pivot element now I'll take 6 so if I if I see if I see if I check left left side element 7 plus 3 plus 1 which is 11 and right side element is 5 plus 6 which is 11 so this so this element is the pivot element so this element is pivot element okay so I need to return answer is 3 so I need to return answer index okay index I need to return okay so uh, so we need to uh, we need to solve in optimal manner so let's check how we can solve this one so what I can do uh, we we know uh, we, we need to use prefix some concept first of all I need to take one variable as say right prefix sum okay so i'll add all this all the element sum okay let's say seven plus three the sum of this uh, all the elements is 28 okay now i'll take i'll what i'll take i'll do or uh, i'll take for loop which will run from zero to n and means the size of the array and here for each element what I'll do, I'll minus this right prefix sum for with each element. Okay, 
now now i need to check if i need to have another variable called um left prefix sum okay which will be first will be zero okay so right prefix sum if right prefix sum equals to left prefix sum okay then then i can get to know yes the this is a equilibrium index so i'll return i that index okay i'll return this index if it is not equal if it is not equal then what i'll do i'll update the left prefix sum variable with i'll add with this element okay okay so this will be the concept okay so what i'll do what it means uh let's try run this example with this code okay one seven three six five six okay my right prefix sum is 28 okay and left prefix sum is zero initially okay so i will take for loop okay the indexes are like 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay now each in for loop so let's say first i equals to 0 okay when i equals to 0 then what i need to do i need to uh, subtract with the uh, rp i need to subtract the right prefix sum okay right prefix sum will subtract with a of 1 a of 0 so it will give 28 minus a of 0 1 so it will be 27 but then it will check uh, each right prefix sum equals to left prefix sum no it is not same because now uh, currently we have uh, left prefix sum is 0 but 557 is 27 no it will not satisfy so it will go to next step here so left prefix sum will be now so initially it is 0 plus a of i is 1 so it will become in 1 so it will become 1 right and it is become 27 now we will increment i so i will go to 1 okay so here right prefix sum minus a of 1 so it will become 27 minus 7 what is the value so 20 so right prefix sum is becoming 20 okay and i need to check which right prefix sum equals to left prefix sum no it is not same so 20 right prefix sum is 20 left prefix sum is 1 so it is not same so what i will do i'll increment i'll increment uh, left prefix sum okay so previously left prefix sum was 1 plus currently a of 1 is what 7 so it is become 8 so left prefix sum is 8 now next go to i is equal to 3 third index i i is equal to 2 sorry i is equal to 2 so right prefix sum now a of 2 what is the value of a of 2 3 right so 20 minus 3 17 is is it same with uh, left prefix sum no because 17 is right prefix sum and left prefix sum is uh, 8 right so it is not same so i'll increment left prefix sum 8 plus 3 what is the value it is 11 okay now come to i is equal to 3 okay right prefix sum minus a of 3 okay so 17 minus value is 6 it is 6 is 11 
now if you see the left prefix sum was 11 and the right prefix sum is 11 so now it is satisfying the condition so i'll directly return this index okay so it will return 3 so answer is 3 okay hope you understood this one let's code this and we'll check whether it is working or not okay so first of all i'll take and the size of the array length okay i'll take int write sum write prefix sum initially it is zero so i need to prepare the right prefix sum value right so i'll run int i equals to zero i less than n i plus plus right prefix sum plus equals to a of i so it will prepare the right prefix sum then here i need to declare left prefix sum initially it will be zero so i will take for loop I'll take for loop int i equals to zero i less than i i plus plus here i need to subtract the eighth index ith index so r prefix sum minus equals to a of i it will subtract then i'll check whether right and left prefix sum are same or not right prefix sum equals to equals to left prefix sum if it is same then i'll return the index simple if it is not same then i'll increment left prefix sum with a of i okay if it is not matching then i need to return minus one because here it is saying we need to return minus one if it is not exist let's compile this code Okay, we are getting some error our pf sum okay this is incorrect i think okay yeah so it is in kernel case let me change to s okay okay again we are getting some issue here okay sorry let me change to a okay compile is successful let's submit this okay it is working fine so hope you understood this approach and if you have any doubt please comment down below and see you in next lecture thank you